Hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my November TBR. So for the last couple of months, I've done the Wheel of Doom Peaks My TBR and it's been a lot of fun, not gonna lie. I will be bringing that back next year. But for November, I thought I would like go through all the books that's been on my TBR from like January to October, which I haven't read yet, because <laughs> there are a few, and uh, have that as my November TBR, as a sort of like finishing up the year. So I've made like little bullet points of like which types of books I would like to read. But let's start off with the January to October TBR books that I have not read yet and they will go up as like the main goal of my November TBR. Bringing up my little uh, bullet slash movie journal and uh, let's see which books I haven't read yet. Please be very, very careful, Tom. Thank you. Let's go from January and see what we have. So, January, TBR. The books I have on here that I didn't read at the time was Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, Iron Gold by Pierce Brown, and King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. Now, I have read these three books now, so, January has been sorted. Yes, 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 oh yes. <laughs> Moving on to February, which books did I not read then? So I have To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini, which was the book club pick of the month for February. Now I started this book. I did not finish this book. I read a lot of it, but yeah, Valley Katie wasn't vibing with it. So when it came to it, I wasn't really vibing with it either. Now, where do I have it? I have it here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. So, the thing with this book is, it's this chunky. It's a chunky, chunky boy. So when you're not really vibing with it as you want to, you tend to not want to pick it up. Now, I do have a plan for this book, but it's not for November. So, however much I would like to, finish it off. Um, I'm gonna get to it later, but yeah. Um, I also had Iron Gold by Piers Brown and King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. Like I said, from January, I have already read these two books, so we're moving on. Uh, the last book I have that I didn't finish was uh, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Now this is also a very chunky book. Um, I, as you can see, I didn't read a lot of it, and this is because it's a, it's a lot. It's 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 not just a brick in terms of size of the book, but the content in it was a lot for my brain at the time. So I haven't really picked these two up. So they are now on my November TBR, but I'm pretty sure I will not be finishing them because I have this kind of thing. Because I thought I might take those two to February of next year and have them be like, I didn't read these books a year ago, so let's try to read them now. <laughs> that was my idea. So they are on the November TBR, but probably will not be read because I'm pretty stoked for doing a, yeah, I didn't read these a year ago, so now I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try it anyway. So for March, March? So for March, we have To Sleep in a Sea of Stars and Iron Gold and Priory of the Orange Tree again. Now, we already mentioned these, so we're just gonna move on um, to April. Are you okay, Tom? You look very sleepy. And in April, again, To Sleep in a Sea of Stars and the Priory of the Orange Tree. Now, these have kind of just kept going as far as the TBRs have gone. However, the rest of the books for the month I did read, so we're gonna we're gonna say that April is done and move on to May. So in May, what do we have then? Seems I only have one book I didn't read from my TBR, and I'm pretty sure it's because yeah. So we had the Spicerthon, and uh, 
I didn't read one of the prompts, which the prompt was LGBTQ plus story. And for that, I picked After Love by Tanya Byrne. I have it somewhere. Where is it? It's here somewhere. I did not read this book. I didn't even start this book. So yes, going on my November TBR. Uh, we'll put that there for now because so disorganized here. So let's see, speed through May, we're done with May, come on, okay, June. So June was a Twilight readathon kind of a deal for the dis Discord, for uh, uh, the Chaos Court, um, which is the book club, link below, link below, yes, you know what to do. And so I did read all of the Stephanie Meyer books uh, <laughs> all the Twilight books. I also read The Host, which was the book club pick of the month for that month. Uh, the three books I didn't read uh, was Red, White and Royal Blue, One Last Stop and I Kiss Char Reeler by Casey McQuiston. So uh, it was a, Val was hosting a like read along for the Casey McQuiston books. Now I have read wi Red, White and Royal Blue and One Last Stop before, so they were supposed to be a reread. And I Kiss Shara Wheeler, I still have not gotten. So, although I'm putting these on the November TBR, I don't foresee them actually being read. But maybe next year. Maybe next year. So, moving on to July. Seems I read all the books I set out. So, moving on to August. I do like when I finish a month. Okay, okay, okay. And it seems I read all the books there as well because it was a Aragon read-along month and I did finish all of those so that was a big accomplishment I'm not gonna lie moving on to uh, September well would you look at that I seem to have finished all the books for September as well this is very confusing <laughs> this is very unlike me now October I do have a couple of books here that I did not read and so they will all be going on my November TBR and this is the month I did the 10 picks instead of just 5 picks so maybe 10 picks wasn't a good thing but also um yeah <laughs> so the books I didn't read was The Dark Path by Michelle Sachs this one. Uh, the Rose Petal Beach by Dorothy Coombson, which is here somewhere. Ugh. Here. A big chunky boy. I do really like Dorothy Coombson books though, so that could be interesting. And A Rose Petal Summer by, I'm pretty sure it's Lord, not Lucy Dillon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lucy? No, not Lucy. Hello? I seem to have lost it. Katie Ford, that's the one. Honestly, where is it though? I don't know. Um, It's gone missing. And we have The Eye of the Moon by Anonymous. Now I did say uh, in that TBR video that I hadn't read the first one and because the eye of the moon is the second book in the series and hadn't read the first book in quite some time and i've forgotten most of it because probably wasn't vibing with me at the time so i did want to reread that one before i read the eye of the moon um and that didn't happen probably won't happen in november either not gonna lie and then we have all i ever wanted this one is lucy dillon and it's out right here Focus, 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 focus. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I had a Jane Austen book, which was to be decided. So I've just written Jane Austen. And uh, probably would have been like Emma, but Emma is a thicky. So, yeah. Not gonna lie, probably won't read a Jane Austen book in November either. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Let's go through all the TBR books that I didn't read throughout the year 
and see what we have because there's a quite a few. So we have To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, Priory of the Orange Tree, After Love, Red, White and Royal Blue, One Last Stop, I Kiss Shara Wheeler, The Dark Path, The Rose Petal Beach, A Rose Petal Summer, The Eye of the Moon, All I Ever Wanted and a Jane Austen book. Now, coming on to <laughs> the rest of the month, because there's a lot going on. So, besides the TBR books, I have a red, which are kind of my main goal, but also probably will not be read at all. So, that TBR will be a fail. But we'll see, we'll see what I have time for in the end, because right now it's looking like I don't even have more than one day until the end of the year and that just doesn't seem right anyway so i also did the books i want to read before the end of the year video which should have gone up before this one and which i kind of sum up the 22 out of 2022 books uh that i would wanted to get to and uh i kind of settled for eight there so if you want to see which eight books i kind of mentioned go check out that video it should be up in the eye which side is it it's one of the sides confusing times i haven't used the eye button in a while so yeah and then we also have the chaos court book club pick of the month and it is um the city of brass by sa shock Borty. and this i'm pretty sure i will be finishing so hopefully that shall be done at least at least that one shall be done but to top it all off, we're also hosting a Dark Academia little readathon thing uh, over on the Chaos Court Discord. So I'm going to read you the prompts, and I haven't chosen any books for the prompts yet, but I'm going to read you the prompts, and uh, yeah, maybe you can help me out because I don't know yet. So the prompts are book with Dark Academia vibe, a character with a big passion. Dark colours on the cover, a villain in the story, featuring a library, a book or a story, a character with a special talent, light colours on the cover, a book that features death, featuring a character learning or going to a school. So my first thought for the Dark Academia readathon thing was to just read mm, Baby Babble Babble. <laughs> Babble. Baby, Babi, Babel, 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 slash Babel, however you want to say it, this is the book. I have it in one of my boxes, so that would be fun to try to figure out which one of the boxes contain that one. Also, I did get The Secret History by Donna Tartt, so I'm gonna probably read this too among those books so the readathon isn't like nine different books to finish them all you can double up or triple up or whatever and that was my initial pan now i don't know what i want to do anymore so there's that my november reading month is gonna be chaotic to say the least and I mean, look out for that November wrap-up in December because I have a feeling I'm not going to have read as much as I would like to have read. And uh, yeah, that shall be interesting. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Oh, bye bye